This is the Midland Home Service. There was zappadi in a well, cuddy alone, cuddy alone. There was zappadi in a well, cuddy alone and I. There was zappadi in a well, and a moosey and a mel. Kick my leery cow down, cuddy alone and I. We present the song carriers. This puddy he'd a wooin' a ride, cuddy alone, cuddy alone. This puddy he'd a wooin' a ride, cuddy alone and I. This puddy he'd a wooin' ride with sword and pistols by his side. Kick my leery cow down, cuddy alone and I. The seventh programme in the series in which Ewan McCall introduces the traditional songs and singers of Great Britain and Ireland. This puddy he's gained to the mooses who's cuddy alone, cuddy alone. This puddy he's gained to the mooses who's cuddy alone and I. This puddy's gained to the mooses who's says are ye in there, Mistress Moose? Kick my leery cow down, cuddy alone and I. The first printed reference to this song occurs in a book known as Wedderburn's Complaint of Scotland, published in 1549. Thirty-one years later, another song was entered in the Stationers' Register under the title of Our Most Strange Wedding of the Frog and the Mouse. Other versions followed. Naturally, the passage of time and the crossing and recrossing of old and new frontiers has changed the song in all kinds of ways. These changes constitute part of what is called the folk process. Oh, there was a frog got in the well, and a merry mouse in the mill. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. Oh, this is the frog I'm going to court, saddle me horse and polish me boots. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. Oh, my uncle rat is not at home, and when he's not, I'll marry no one. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. My uncle rat is soon come home, hopping and dancing in every stone. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. Oh, then where'll we brew our wedding ale, but in the old horse's woolly tail. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. Oh, then in there come a big bumby, with her fiddle on her knee. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. In there come a creeping snail, tying his bagpipes under his tail. Cox me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. The frog and mouse and out to dance, cocks me here, kitty alone. The frog and mouse and out to dance, kitty alone, and I, sir. And then in and come the neighbour's cat and took the bride out by the bike. Cocks me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. In and come the neighbour's duck and took the groom out head and plug. Cocks me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. The frog leapt out and into the well and told them all to go to hell. Cocks me here, kitty alone, kitty alone, and I, sir. In that version, sung by Thomas Moran of Mohill, County Leitrim, the story has changed very little, and even the refrain is organised in pretty much the same way as it was in the Scots version. What is even more surprising is that the actual words that form the refrain sound almost like an echo of the Scots. Now here is a short fragment of the song recorded in 1954 by Mrs Cecilia Costello of Birmingham. It's obvious, even from this fragment, that here too both the story and the form of the song have undergone only slight changes. There was a rat that lived in a well I oh, ransom did it um, and a merry mouse in the mill rattled the umbo dairy Oh lady mouse are you within I oh, ransom did it um, Oh yes, kind sir, I'm learning to spin, rattle the umbo dairy. Even travelling to and through North America has not brought about any substantial changes. In some versions, the story has been weakened a little, perhaps, by having a happy ending tagged onto it. But the rest of the details are unaltered, and the verse-refrain structure of the song remains the same as before, except that a chorus, constructed chiefly of lines from the refrain, has now been added. Frog went in court and in he did ride. King Kong, kitty, kitty, cry me, yo, with a sword and a pistol by his side. King Kong, kitty, kitty, cry me, yo. Cry mo, key, mo, cry mo, key, away down yonder in a holler tree. An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitty, kitty, cry me, yo. 
He rode till he came to Miss Mouse's door. King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. And there he knelt up on the floor. King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. Cry mo, key mo, cry mo, key. Way down yonder in a holler tree. An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. He took Miss Mouse up on his knee. King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. And he said, Little Mouse, will you marry me? King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. Cry mo, key mo, cry mo, key. Way down yonder in a holler tree. An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchy kitchy, cry me yo. They went to the parson the very next day. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo, and left on their honeymoon right away. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo, cry mo, key mo, cry mo, key, way down yonder in a holler tree, an owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo. Now they live far off in a holler tree. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo, where they now have wealth and children free. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo, cry mo, key mo, cry mo, key, way down yonder in a holler tree, an owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitty kitty, cry me yo. 1549 to 1965. That's quite a run for a song, and no plugging by disc jockeys either. Even older is the wife of Kelso or, to use the more popular title, Marabones. This gleeful story of an intended murder victim who murders his would-be murderer has been cropping up in Europe both as a song and a folk tale for at least a thousand years. Here is a splendid Scots version of it sung by Gordon McCulloch of Glasgow, one of the pillars of the Scots folk music revival. It was in the tune of Kelso, a lovely woman did dwell. She loved her husband tenderly, but another man twice as well. Singing Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, She gave down to the drugger shop some medicine for to buy, for she had resolved in her in mind that her husband he should die. Singing Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, She bought upon the marabones and she grunned them very small. Before he had the half of the meat and he couldn't see on. Singing Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, I'm tired of my life, he cried, I'm tired of my life. I think I'll wander in my cell and that will end the strife. Singing Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, So it's down the street, together they went, she whistled and she sang. Oh, my husband's going to drown himself and I'm sure he's free for sin. Singing Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, Fowler O'Leary, ah. It's down the street, together they went till they came to the water's brim. Oh, you must take a great language to help to ding me in. Singing Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, ah. So she drew back a great language to help to ding him in. But the cunning old beggar he looked aside and she could skeeter in. Singing Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, ah. Save my life, save my life, oh, save me when I call. Oh, how can I come and save you when I can't see you on the at all? Singing Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, Father it's up she swam and down she swam till she came to the water's brim. But the old man he got a great lung stick and he poked her further in. Singing Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary. You talk you that, you old jod, for you thought that I was blin. But I'll be whistling him again and another wife will fin. Singing Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary, Father O'Leary. That song is also found in England and Ireland, and most parts of Canada and the United States can produce versions of it. Now, there is nothing strange about encountering a song of Scots' origin in the Appalachians or in Nova Scotia. After all, Scots helped to settle both of these places. It is, however, a somewhat singular experience to find a Scots song in a Texas penitentiary, to encounter it, moreover, in the mouth of a Negro convict. But that's what Alan Lomax did when he collected this beautiful version from James Baker, known as Ironhead. Peggy Seeger, who is here in the studio, learned it from the Lomax recording. Once an old lady round Tennessee did dwell She had a loving husband, but she loved other men as well I love my darling oh I love my darling oh I'm going down to the doctor shop just to see what I can find 
See if I can't find something around that place that'll run my old man blind. I love my darling, oh, love my darling, oh. She only found two marrow bones, and she made him chew them all. He says, my dear, I'm so darn blind, I just can't see you at all. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. Well, now I'm old, my dear, I'm tired of my life. I'll go down and drown myself, and that's going to end my strife. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. She went way down to that riverside just to see her old man drown. He says, my dear, I cannot drown unless you show me in. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. The old woman stepped back just a little one step. She's going to run and shove him in. The old man stepped just a little one side and headlong she went in. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. She yell and she holler loud as any woman could bawl. He says, my dear, I'm so darn blind, I just can't see you at all. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. Now the old man, he loved his wife. He knowed she could not swim. So he grabbed him a fishing pole and shove her farther in. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. Just feed your old man marrow bone, it's bound to make him blind. But if you want to do him in, you gotta creep up from behind. I love my darling, oh, I love my darling, oh. A song which has travelled widely, not only in the English-speaking areas of the world, but throughout most of Europe too, is the Maid Freed from the Gallows. The story concerns a young woman who is on the point of being hanged, and who pleads with her parents, her brothers, her sisters, each in turn, to ransom her life. They all refuse, until the girl's lover, sometimes her husband, turns up at the last moment and pays the ransom. Versions of this ballad have been recorded in Sicily, Spain, Iceland, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Estonia and Russia. It is still fairly popular with English country singers. Here is a fine, robust version of it from Maple Derwell in Hampshire, sung by Frank Hewitt. He calls it The Prickle Holly Bush. Oh, I'm been stand here for a while For I seems to see my dear old father He's a coming over yonder style Oh, father, has I got any gold Or silver to set me free For to keep my body from the cold clay ground And me neck from the eye gallus tree Oh, no, I've got no gold nor silver to set thee free, nor to keep thy body from the cold clay ground and thee neck from the eye gallus green. Oh, the prickle alley boy, it pricks my heart quite sore, and if ever I get out of the prickle alley bush, I'll never get in it any more. Oh, I'm gonna stand here for a while, for I seem to see my dear old mother, she's coming over yonder style. Oh, mother, has I got any gold or silver to set me free? For to keep my body from the cold clay ground and my neck from the eye gallus green. Oh, no, I've got no gold nor silver to set me free. Nor to keep thy body from the cold clay ground and the neck from the eye gallus green. Oh, the prickle alley boys, it pricks my heart quite sore. And if ever I get out of the prickle alley bush, 
I'll never get hit it anymore. Oh, I'm going to stand here for a while. For I seems to see my dear old brother, he's a-coming over yonder skull. Oh, brother, has to got any gold or silver to set me free? For to keep my body from the cold clay ground and my neck from the eye got a screen. Oh, the prickle alley bush, it pricks my heart quite sore. And if ever I get out of the prickle alley bush, I'll never get in it anymore. Oh, I'm going to stand here for a while. For I seems to see my dear old sister, she's a-coming over yonder stall. Oh, sister, has to got any gold or silver to set me free. For to keep my body from the cold clay ground and my neck from the eye got a screen. Oh, the prickle alley bush, it pricks my heart quite sore. And if ever I get out of the prickle alley bush, I'll never get in it anymore. Oh, I'm going to stand here for a while, for I seems to see my dear old lover, she's a-coming over yonder stall. Oh, lover, has have got any gold, or silver to set me free. For to keep my body from the cold clay ground and me neck from the eye got a screen. Oh yes, I've got some gold and silver to set thee free. And to keep thy body from the cold clay ground and me neck from the eye got a screen. In the United States, where the song has been popular since pioneering days, it is often a young man who is about to be hanged. The pattern of events, however, is the same. Parents, brothers, sisters are all appealed to and turn a deaf ear. And finally, the young man's sweetheart rescues him. Here is Peggy Seeger singing a fine version of it from Missouri. Hangman, hangman, slack up your rope, slack it for a while. I look over yonder and I seen fog coming, coming for many a mile. Say, Paul, say, Paul, have you brought me no gold? Gold to pay my fine? No, sir, no, sir, brought you no gold. Gold to pay your fine. I'm just come for to see you hung all on the gallows line. Slack up your rope, slack it for a while. I look over yonder and I see more coming, coming for many a mile. Say more, say more. Have you brought me no gold? Gold to pay my fine? No, sir, no, sir, brought you no gold. Gold to pay your fine. I've just come for to see you hanged all on the gallows line. up your rope, slack it for a while. I look over yonder, see my true lover coming, coming for many a mile. True love, true love, have you brought me no gold? Gold to pay my fine. Yes, sir, yes, sir, brought you some gold. Gold to pay your fine. I've not come for to see you hanged all on the gallows line. It's hard to love, hard to be loved, hard to make up your mind. You broke the heart of many true girls who love, but you won't break mine. One of the most remarkable examples of song travelling 
is the journey of the broadside ballad known as the unfortunate rake. There are songs which have travelled further, but none of them have gone so far in such a short space of time. The text of the ballad was published in 1909, though the famous Irish collector Patrick Joyce collected it in 1848 from a man who had learned it in Dublin in 1780. The song appears to have settled wherever English is spoken and has produced numerous progeny. In the earliest version, St. James's Hospital is referred to, once a refuge for leprous women and now the site of the Palace of St. James. The hero of the song is sometimes a sailor, sometimes a soldier, a trooper. He can also be a cowboy, a miner, a railwayman, a gambler, and, very occasionally, the hero is transformed into a heroine. Generally speaking, there are two main branches of this song family. One, the St. James's Hospital branch, and two, the soldier-sailor cut down in his prime branch. All versions of this song, however, share one important feature, the ceremonial funeral. Here is Harry Cox singing The Sailor Cut Down in His Prime, a good representative of the younger branch of the song family. As I was a walking down by the Royal Albert, dark was the night, then cold was the day. Who should I see there but one of my shipmates? Wrapped in a blanket far colder than clay He asked for a blanket to wrap round his head Likewise a candle to light him to bed His poor heart was breaking, his poor head was aching For he's a young sailor cut down in his prime We'll beat the big drums and we'll play the pipes merrily. Play the dead march as we carry him along. Take him to the churchyard and fire three volleys o'er him. For he's a young sailor cut down in his prime. At the corner of the street you will see two girls standing. One to the other did whisper and say, Here comes the young sailor whose money we've squandered. Here comes the young sailor cut down in his prime. His kind-hearted mother, his kind-hearted father, both of them wandered about his past life. For along with the flesh girdles he would wander, along with the flesh girdles it was his delight. An East Anglian farm worker singing about a sailor cut down. And here, a Wyoming cowboy singer laments the death of a cowpuncher in the streets of Laredo. As I walked out in the streets of Laredo, as I walked out into old Laredo town, I spied a poor cowboy all wrapped in white linen, all wrapped in white linen, for they had gunned him down. Get sixteen cowboys to carry my coffin. Get sixteen pretty ladies to bear up my pole. Put roses all over the top of my coffin to deaden the smell of me along Oh, swing the rope slowly and ring your spurs lowly and play the dead march as you bear me along Take me to the grave 
Green Valley, there lay the sod o'er me. Cause I'm a poor cowboy and I know I've done wrong. It's obvious that the story told in both these songs is almost identical. One can see, too, that the tunes are closely related. Now here is Mary Doran, a Belfast travelling woman, singing a version belonging to the St James's Hospital branch. When I was in horseback, was in I pretty? When I was in horseback, was in I gay? All but was in I pretty? When I entered Cork City, when I met with me downfall on the fourteenth of May Six jolly soldiers to carry my coffin Six jolly soldiers to march by my side And let each jolly soldiers take a bow of red roses and them for to smell them as we go along play the pipes only play the drum slowly play up the dead marches we go along Will you bring me to Tipperary and leave me down easy? I am the young soldier that never did wrong. That tune turns up again in the United States. And to end this program, here is Hallie Wood singing a beautiful version of it, learned from Mrs. Texas Gladden of Salem, Virginia. Early one morning I pass the St. James Hospital In long one morning Morning month of May When I looked out the window and I spied a young cowboy Wrapped up in white linen And cold as the clay Come along, dear mother Mother, and seat yourself by me Come along, dear father Father, and sing me a song for my knee bones are aching And my sad heart is breaking For I'm a poor cowboy And I know I've done wrong Get six young gamblers Father to carry my coffin Six young hog owls, father to sing me a song. Tell them to bring along a branch of them sweet smelling roses so they can smell me as they 